Hello, welcome back. This is CoinPig. So today I have a £500 bag of £2 coins. Now, I had a conversation with the, the bank when I got these, and they assured me that these were coins that I'd already searched. I don't believe them. So I decided I'll risk it. I'll take the coins. I'll go through them and see what's what. So let's just carry on. Let's open the bag and find out what's in there, shall we? I should remind you, just to let you know, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. We may find some stuff, we may not. Uh, oh, that one's also it's already open. Let's have a look at this one, shall we? I think this one's the first one. So we're not looking for technologies, obviously. And uh, it looks like... Oh, no, I was wrong. There was a Camaro D in the first one. So that is a Marconi wireless transmission. It's the 100th anniversary. Centenary, if you like. But there's the Marconi wireless transmission. First find of the crossing of the Atlantic, essentially. Uh, I thought that had uh, some damage on it there from it. Oh, and there's a Robert Burns. We found a few of these recently, but. Uh, Technically above face value. I don't necessarily keep them all, but uh, it's above face value, so we'll see. Ooh, ooh! I saw that one as I was turning it over. I thought that looks a bit of a shiny one. There is a World War One Royal Navy centenary. So a lot of people think that's the HMS Belfast on there, but it's not. Unfortunately, since HMS Belfast was a Second World War ship, not a First World War ship, so it wouldn't have been around in the First World War. But uh, that is definitely about face value. Oh, There's a second <laughs> you find two above face value and two at face value commemoratives. So uh, not as many as I was hoping, but that's a steam engine. Drif Drifik. I always get confused and have difficulty saying his name. But uh, not above face value that one. There's a gunpowder plot. Not one we'll keep. It's a it's a find. Not finding so many at the moment. Ooh, there's a nice one. Golden guinea. It's above face value, so we're just about keeping up with each other here. Oh, there's another commemorative. That's Mark. That's, uh, that's Brunel's achievements. Brunel's arches at Paddington Station. Not above face value there. Just didn't notice that one. It was a 2010. So it could be a DDO. Could be. But I don't think it is. Is it? No. No. Not that one. What? Another World War, World War One, yeah, another World War One Navy. Slightly looks like it's slightly off centre as well. Seems to be a thicker rim at the top than there is at the bottom. But it's also got, as you can see at the top of the mast there, what looks like a flag which shouldn't be there. So this is what well, is technically not an error, but is known as the flag error, the full flag error in this case, which is actually the most common of the versions. There are several other versions. But um, yeah, that's the second Royal Navy coin 
found. But definitely looking a bit odd, that one. Slightly off centre. Only by one or two percent, but enough to notice. And it's got the flag error. So let's, let's move these around. So let's put that next to that one. And I'll show you, I'll compare them when we go through them at the end. There's another another Marconi wireless transmission. It's our first commemorative find as well. Oh, and another commemorative there. That's the Act of Union. Not by face value. Oh, and there's a VE Day celebration. Another celebration from 60 years previously. That was from 2005. VE Day celebration outside St Paul's. Oh, let's get rid of that one. There's a Trinity House lighthouse. Now you can occasionally see what looked like a flag error on these. I don't think that's the case. Normally in the top left-hand corner there, but um, it looks like there might be something on that, but nothing spectacular. But Yep, another commemorative. Ooh, thought that was a bit shiny. There's the First World War Army in 2016. Not by face value, that one though. Unfortunately, quite a few of those around. Oh, I can see one straight away, right at the top. There's a Florence Nightingale. Get the right way around. Florence Nightingale in 2010. Not in the best shape, but uh, not by face value again. I wonder if this is a Shakespeare, maybe? It is Shakespeare's histories. We don't keep, we're not keeping the Shakespeare's anymore. Although I'm going to keep them off to the side here, just, just so that we can keep track of how many we find. There's a Charles Darwin. Now we don't find many of these actually nowadays. I mean, this one is from 2009. So it's getting on a bit, but it isn't about face value, surprisingly, but I, I would have thought this might have just, because uh, there aren't that many of them. And uh, I would have thought perhaps this one would have been one of those that was over face value, because it's quite difficult to find now. Saw that one straight away at the light. That is not a genuine coin, that is a fake. You can see it straight away. The latent feature in the center is wrong. It's actually off. It's, there's several things about it actually that look wrong. It looks like it's been painted. You can see the, the silver uh, middle bit, middle bit is uh, all not exactly within the lines. So, oh, and it looks like the, the portrait is skewed. About 40 degrees, 45 degrees. So that's another thing. So yeah, that unfortunately is a fake coin. And we seem to find one, at least one, every bag nowadays. There's a Rugby World Cup. First commemoratives. Oh, <laughs> there's another Rugby World Cup. Second one of those. Oh, another gunpowder plot, or Guy Fawkes if you like. And there's a 2016. I think that might be a Shakespeare, maybe. Ooh, Britannia. No, not a Shakespeare. 
It looked like it might have been a, a Shakespeare, but it was a branch of Britannia. So the least sought after of the two years that we can generally find in circulation. I mean, technically we could find a, an NIFC, but uh, I haven't managed to do that as yet. Well, that's a nice find, just above face value. Oh, there's another shiny. 2016, is this a Shakespeare? Or is this another Britannia? Let's have a look, shall we? Another Britannia. There's been quite a few Britannias going into circulation, actually, from 2016 recently. So I'm wondering whether we're, find, we're starting to find those now. Right, well, this is the last bag. At the beginning, I was a bit suspicious about where these coins had come from and whether I'd find anything, but we found a few. All right, last couple of coins, and I think that's it, yep. So, nothing in the last bag, but not a bad haul, really, considering I was a bit suspicious about the source of these coins. Um, but I'm going to go through them again, see if I've missed anything. Hopefully there's no more fakes, and uh, I'll get back to you with a wrap-up. Okay, so I've gone through all the coins, and, um, well, I thought I'd found another fake, but luckily it was just the one this time. Just the one. <laughs> um, we found a selection of finds, not as many as I was hoping again, but you know what? Considering I wasn't expecting to find anything in this bag, because they told me that uh, these are the exact same coins as I had last week, which can't have been true because I didn't have any last week. But anyway, what did we find? So above face value wise, we found a Robert Burns, not particularly above face value down south, but uh, worth keeping anyway. Similarly, we found two of the Britannias 2016, not the best year to find. But nevertheless, we found it, or them, and also the anniversary of the Golden Guinea. And that's in really good condition, considering sometimes they're not in the best condition in 2013. But we did find two, count them, two, they are two World War Navy, World War One, sorry, Navy in 2015. One with flag error on the, on this side here, on the left of the screen and one without on the right. As you can see, they do look slightly different colors, they tone slightly differently, but otherwise, those were the best finds, I think, particularly, particularly the one with the flag error, which we don't find every time. Anyway, that is it, really. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be back next time. Until then, keep collecting.